Hey guys, it's Rob, and uh, I'm just going to do a setup video on the GY520 gyro that I got from Leader Hobbies, and this is for you, Brian. And this is actually take two. I was <laughs> nicely into the actual demonstration when the phone rang, and I ignored it, and it rang again, and I couldn't ignore it, so I had to start again. But anyway, radar's on, the throttle is in idle, and the throttle hold is on, and I'll just confirm all that before we go anywhere. I'll just plug in some power. You'll see the gyro goes green, flashes red, and then initializes. So that's now initialized. And as I move the stick, that gyro flashes as is pretty normal. And I'll just confirm that the throttle holder is actually working. Yes, it is. So that's all fine. Okay, so now let's go into the various setup phases. But the first thing we need to do to get it into the setup mode is to flick to rate mode, where you'll see the gyro goes green, and hold the stick fully deflected for a few seconds and you'll see that the light then changes to red and it's flashing twice. Now two flashes means it's in um, what they call 1520 US and 280 Hertz mode which is standard for a digital servo. Okay? Um, there are two other options one flash will give you uh, an analog servo mode and three flashes will give you what they call a narrow band mode but I won't actually change that just on this demonstration the way you change it is to just move the stick halfway so you can move it down to one flash or up to three flashes just move it momentarily for about 0.3 of a second and it will adjust that but only only halfway now to move to the next parameter you hold the stick fully deflected until it changes okay now now we've got one single green flash and what that means is that the gyro is compensating in the normal direction okay if I want to change that I will demonstrate this change is I just move that halfway can you see how the gyro is now flashing twice so that's now in the reverse direction but I need to put it back to the normal so I'm just going to move this halfway for a brief second and now it's flashing once again so that's how you change the settings within each parameter. Okay, we'll now move to the next one. So I'm holding it fully deflected. It then goes blue. And it's flashing three times. One, two, three. Now, it, it does actually tell you that the three flashes won't be of the same speed. But you can see there's one, two, and then three. That's just how it does it and then there's a longer break. So that's just what you need to expect. That setting is for the actual speed of the pyro rate. So it's on setting three, which is the default setting, and I haven't seen a need to change that. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Hold it all the way until it changes to a color they say is called cyan blue. And uh, it's only flashing once, and this is the delay setting. Now I'm actually gonna increase it just by one, there you go, it's flashing twice, because I just want to try that. That's actually what I was going to uh, try just as part of the experimentation. Okay, we then move to the next setting. So I'll just hold that all the way, and it becomes yellow. Now what that's actually done is it's deflected the servo to the maximum left limit. Okay, now the way you adjust that is, again, just by moving this stick halfway and I'm going to adjust it and then adjust it back and hopefully you'll just see the servo move just briefly so I'll just adjust it slightly two okay that actually increased the servo a bit and now I'll move it so you move it halfway and the servo just moves a fraction of a degree which is just setting the the limit setting so uh, that's back to um, back to the setting that I had originally when I was flying the helicopter okay so that's the Li the left limit. Now we'll move this stick fully deflected again and it goes pink the LED goes pink and what it's doing is it's set the servo in the, uh, the relevant position. Now I won't bother demonstrating that again I think you, you get the idea how that works. Now at this point if I move that again to the full deflection position it's going to um, set it up to a restore factory settings position. So I don't want to do that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go out of the setup menu and I will go, I will do that, sorry, just by selecting heading hold mode on the switch here. So do that. And there it is, back in normal operation mode. 
So that's your setup video. It's not really difficult at all. It's just a matter of experimenting with the setting. So I've got a fully charged LiPo now and I just wanted to try a slightly different um, delay setting and just see how that works and uh, still part of the experimentation process. But hopefully that video will give you an idea of how this, uh, how easy it is to set up this gyro. Thanks for watching and don't worry, I'll check everything before I fly.